Hello and welcome to episode 17 of the Magna FX Sunday analysis series. Last week we had some pretty interesting price action and the analysis that I gave in the previous episode came to fruition. And now let's get into this week's analysis. Like always, we'll begin with AUD USD. Okay, for Aussie dollar, in the previous analysis video, my anticipation was that Aussie dollar would retrace from 0 0.6680 up to 0 0.6750, where this level marked out with an arrow. That was scenario A. And for scenario B, my anticipation was that price would continue falling from its current price, which was 0 0.6680. But eventually, we created a bullish candle and then failed to break 0 0.6700. We failed to break 0 0.6700 and then created an inside bar followed by a pin bar engulfing bearish candle and then we dropped to the downside. We eventually hit our target, the target that was predicted in the previous video, 0 0.6600. We hit the target very well and after hitting the target, we eventually began to retrace to the upside. This was the move on Friday. From Thursday, to Friday. So after making this retracement, I am still bearish on Aussie dollar and I am expecting Aussie dollar not to go past this current level here. We might reject here a couple of times before falling to the downside or when the market opens we can just begin to fall from here. But I doubt if that can be the case because this is too clear. And the market makers would not want traders to have it easy. So we'll wait and see for Monday price formation. We do not want to take any trades on a Monday because Monday we may have some manipulation in the markets. So if we get our Fibonacci, just to check where our targets would be, if we were to retrace from, the, if we were to come up this level. Our target would be 0 0.665, 0 0.6558, 0 0.6558, sorry, 0 0.6563, 0 0.6563 would be our target, which would be about 100 pips from the current price. Okay, so that's my bias for Aussie dollar. That's my, my anticipation for Aussie dollar. We might also find some support here because of this reaction that we have here. So we might find some support here. We, ha we might have some reactions here. But we'll, we will wait and see and look forward to how price will develop on Monday. Okay, from Aussie dollar, we head over to gold. Okay, for gold, we also had some pretty good price action. In fact, for the whole currency pairs that I trade, that I analyzed, we had pretty good price action. So for gold in the previous video, I was expecting price to fall from 1923 and targets were 1900. I stated in the video that I was highly confident that price would not go above 1930, of which we eventually did. This is not to say I'm a market guru. This is just intuition that I have developed over time. Most of the time, what I analyze does not go accordingly, but this is how the Forex market works. You just have to identify your edges and execute whenever you identify your edge. Do not hesitate. Just execute whenever you identify your edge. This is not to say become careless. Like I always tell you, this is not to say become careless. You just have to have a plan written down. If you do not have a plan written down, I suggest you write down your plan. You write down how you approach the market and how you execute a trade as well as your risk management. Don't forget to also include psychological notes. If you want a template of how to create a trading plan, I created a bundle of slides that will help you do so. You can find the link to that in the description below. So we eventually came down to 1900 and from 1900 we popped back up. 
First, we retraced back, then we had another retest, and then we had an impulsive move to the upside. And now currently for gold, I'm expecting price to find resistance at 1922. If not 1922, 1925, around this zone here. Already we've had some rejection here. You can see this candle has a rejection. So we might find resistance at this area here. We might find resistance at this area here. We also have a supply zone here where this candle tapped. So it tapped the supply zone and then closed below. So I'm expecting price to find resistance around this area. So be vigilant. Be vigilant. If you are going to enter the trade, make sure to use good risk management. But before you enter the trade, make sure you identify your confluences for entering a trade. That's what's most important. Don't just predict how the market will move and believe that the market will do just that because you'll be disappointed. So this is where I'm expecting price to find resistance. Okay, simple chart breakdown. For targets, we can use our Fibonacci as well. But for targets, I'm expecting price to go below 1900 because we've already made another lower low. So we might make another lower low or we might just come down to 1900, find support and continue to shoot to the upside. Anything is possible. So we can use our FIB from the lower high to the lower low and then targets 1881. So for targets, I suggest you set your targets at least five pips above if it's a downtrend. So five pips above your initial target level, because most of the time price does not reach your set target because of the high pressure of people taking profits from the market. So at least you can set your take profit five pips above your initial target. And then if it is an uptrend, you can set it five pips below your initial target. So that's it for gold. We then head over to Euro USD. Okay, for Euro USD, in the previous analysis video, I was expecting Euro USD to fall from 1.0914. So from 1.0914, which is here, I was expecting to drop and find support at 1.075, which was the target. And scenario B was that price would come up and find resistance at 1.0950. So we eventually came to the price zone. We found resistance, though not at 1.0950, but at 1.0977. We found resistance and then began to drop. I took this trade. I took this trade. I made a market breakdown video of how I took the trade, how I executed the trade and the confluences of why I took the trade. You can find the link to the video in the description below and I'll leave a pop-up card at the right side of the screen. So eventually came down, I took profits, took out 23 pips on the market. Though I should have held the trade, but I already took the action. Taking profits has never killed anyone. Then in the market breakdown video, I was expecting price to make this move and find resistance here at 1.0936. That's why I was expecting price to come find resistance and we eventually did. We wicked to the level, created a pin bar and then hit the target that I was expecting price would reach. But in the previous analysis video, I was expecting price to come down to 1.0750. Though we did not develop as expected. So like I said, not everything goes according to your expectations. All you have to do is just follow what the market is doing because the market is always right. The market is always right. That's what you have to know. Do not force anything. Just read what the market is giving you and act accordingly. So currently, we made a retracement and now we are at 1.0900 where we also have this weak rejection here meaning we have sellers at this level here so i'm expecting price to reject from this level and then create a lower low so to find the target as well 
we can use the Fibonacci. But for me right now, I can find the target with my eyes. So targets probably 1.07900, 1.0790. So let's use the Fibonacci. So 1.0799, 1.0799. Nine pips away from uh, the target I was expecting. But I'll keep my eye on this level where I have this arrow marked up because this level seems to be significant. Seems to be a very significant level. So this level is seems to be lagging. Okay, 1.0816. 1.0816. That is the potential target for EURUSD for next week's move. So before we take any trade, we have to wait for the confluences to align. Like I always say, wait for the confluences to align before you can execute a trade. So that's it for EURUSD. I do not have any other scenario. Maybe we can begin to fall from here and then find support because we have these demands on here. We had support here, we had support here, we had resistance here. So we might find support, but I highly doubt that we can find support here. My anticipation is that price will, would come and make a lower low. So let us see how everything unfolds. So from Euro USD, we head over to US 30. Okay, for US 30, I don't know what has happened to my US 30 chart. It has been frozen since last week's Sunday analysis video, as you can see. So I'll check another platform that provides a US 30 chart and I'll post an update in the Telegram channel. If you'd like to join the Telegram channel, I'll leave the link in the description below. Okay, from US 30, we then head over to GBP USD. For GBP USD, in the previous analysis video, my expectation was that price will not go above 1.2740. We then came to 1.2750 where we created a doji candle followed by another doji and then a bearish engulfing candle and a push to the downside. I entered the trade and I posted the trade on our Instagram page. If you'd like to follow us on Instagram, I'll leave the link in the description below as well. I also made a market breakdown video of how i entered the trade if you haven't watched the video you can watch the video i'll leave the link to the video in the description below in the video i broke down exactly what confluences i saw for me to enter the trade and my expectation for what the market would do so price developed very well and eventually we came down to the initial target that I gave in the previous video, 1.2600. I was also expecting price to reject from 1.2650, which we eventually did. And this is where I took my profit. I took my profit because price came off a few pips above this level. So it was just right for me to take profit. I also gave an in-depth explanation of why I took profit in the market breakdown video. After coming to 1.2600, we then followed up with a retracement and then we got to our previous support level. So right now for GU, I'm expecting a push to the downside. I'm expecting a push to the downside. We might come and find support at this support level, 1.2541. Let me just use our Fibonacci to find our target. And it's perfectly aligning with the level. And it's perfectly aligning with the level. So let us see how price would develop. And then if we have our confluences lining up, we can then execute a trade. Scenario B for GU, because nothing is guaranteed in the markets. Scenario B is that price might come down here and then find support and then continue with its move to the upside. Anything can happen. So you just have to 
let the market do what it has to do okay from GU we then head over to the dollar okay for the dollar as well in the previous analysis video I stated that price might continue to shoot to the upside from 102.80 or we might come down to 102.40 then we eventually came down to 102.40, which through the level created this pin bar, and this gave me the confluence for entering the trades on Euro USD and GU. So easy, the forex market is easy. We complicate things ourselves because of the mental blocks that we have implemented in our minds. So the market came down easy, created a pin bar candle, followed by a bullish engulfing candle and then short to the upside this is the level where i decided to take my profit because price came a few pips below my initial target below my initial target though in the previous video i stated that price might come up to 10360 i was looking at this level that we have here 103.30 that's the level I was looking at when I executed the trade because of this high, because of these reactions that we have here. So we have one, two, three, four, four reactions at this level. So I was looking at how price would come react when it gets to this level. As you can see, when we go to this level, we created a pin bar, or you can call this a doji, followed by a huge engulfing candle, huge bearish engulfing candle. You can also call this a marubozu, a marubozu candle, because we do not have any wick on this candle. We do not have any wick on this candle here. So after creating the marubozu, we then created a bullish candle, but then the bullish candle had a huge wick that we created here through 103.30, and then we had follow-up candles that filled this week here so eventually price got to 10340 10340 and then created this bearish pin bar bearish pin bar candle this bearish pin bar candle here and then followed by a huge bearish candle we have then come back to 10280 and now we are wicking through the level so my expectation my anticipation is that price would find support from 10280 here or might come down to this arrow here and then continue to shoot to the upside as you can see if we come down to this arrow here we will also make a third trend line touch also make a third trend line touch as well as finding support at 61.8 which is the golden ratio so Let's look at how everything will develop on Monday. If Monday does not have good price action, then we'll see how Tuesday will come through. So we have a number of confluences at this level here, 10 to 80. So look, let's look at how everything will unfold. We have come to the end of episode 17 of the Sunday analysis series. Thank you very much for watching this far and see you in the next video.